and welcome back to another video it's my second video on this channel uh but my first tutorial okay um so i just learned something new in blender i'm learning things like every day uh so hopefully this is going to be a very fast a very efficient uh tutorial try to keep it as short as possible um if you have any questions leave some comments down below or you can join my discord and i have my discord in the description and it should be the first comment as well so you can just click the link and then go to it and then boom you're in there uh, so anyways i'm going to show you guys how to do animations uh, on macbook mostly you can do this on windows as well it's a little bit more steps if you want to do it on uh, windows but as you can see clearly on mac um, so we're going to get into it really quick first thing that we are going to do um, the first thing you might think you want to do is open blender that's actually not the first thing we're going to do first thing we're going to do is go to either google chrome or go to safari whatever you go to your uh, web browser okay uh, you can make this full screen or not um, what we're going to do i have it right here but you want to go to google or whatever search engine you feel comfortable using i use google uh, and then you're going to click uh, you're going to want to type in blender 2.9 or whatever uh, blender you're using you do 2.8 2.7 whichever one you're using I'm using 2.91 so I'm just typing 2.9 PSK um, and then it should be this first one I don't know if it's going to be the first one it's the first one for me because it's uh, a recent page that I opened but anyway you're going to go to there it's uh, github.com okay you could go down here and do all this but I mean that's that's a lot of extra steps what I did is I went to here and I went to code and then I went to download zip and then find wherever it is it's usually going to be in, in the downloads um, so I already have it so it's actually not there but you should see it it should say blender uh, in your downloads uh, I got it in my other folder and you'll see it blender 3d import psk psa um so if you're on mac like i said all you got to do is just double click it and then it'll pop up this quick message uh you don't have to on um on windows you have to scan for virus i mean you don't have to but i would recommend scanning for virus then what you want to do is you want to go over here open blender like i said i'm on 2.91 this should work for anyone uh, Windows again uh, you might not want to follow this tutorial because this is mainly for Mac but this is also how to import um, animations pretty fast but anyways if you're I'm, I'm gonna just go through it uh, what you want to do while you're here in Blender um, you want to go to the edit tab then you want to go to preferences what you're going to do is go up to here to install that uh, file that we just downloaded um, that should be on my desktop because I saved it to the desktop and then you'll see right here uh, it should only be about two files let me see this isn't it should only be about two files I think well no it should be one file I downloaded it twice by accident so we're just going to open this first one they're all the same, no matter how many times you download it, they're all the same. Um, sorry if I made that confusing, but we're going to open this first one. Uh, and then it's going to be uh, Blender 3D, then add-ons, and then you're going to see both of these. Uh, so what you want to do, usually uh, if you're adding something in Blender, you add both of them. For this, you just want to add them one by one, so you click the first one, install add-on, go back in here do the same thing same file add-ons and then install add on the second one boom and then you should be done uh, to see it but yeah you should have it if you don't want to open that tab right there then you could just go up here to the file go to import and then you should see these two PSK or dot PSK and that and dot PSA so we're gonna just use 
a random skin. Now this works on all skins. Some skins is glitchier than others, like the animation is, at least. Uh, it looks a little glitchier than others. Um, so, yeah, just keep that in mind. It's It works better with uh, characters that have masks on. We're out here, and I got this, I got turns. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna scale him up, which actually doesn't doesn't really matter. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna click on the bone, and then scale all these to one. And then while we're here, I'm going to open this window so I can tell you guys what to do. Uh, well, yeah. So you wanna have this window open because you want to deselect every single one of these boxes. So uncheck, don't import. Actually, I'll show you guys why you want to do that. Because if we import, uh, when you're importing as well, uh, if it's an animation, I believe it's always going to be a PSA for uh, animation, obviously. And then PSK is for the mesh. It downloads, and then in here. And then uh, I do the first one. And so since we have all of these checked, you might notice that he's bunched up. Now, the animation does work. It just, it's not, it's not right, obviously. Uh, so what you wanna do is you wanna uncheck all of these. You can actually check that if you want to. Okay, yeah, check that. Don't invert root. No. Now to insert the animation, um, you want to go to, to the file, to the import, and then skeleton animation. Now, once you click that, you'll see this PSA slash PSK, select an armature. An armature is just one of these sticking out little bones. Um, and then come up here, go to import skeleton animation, and then click on the first one. I don't click on the second one, and here's why. Boom. This, I don't know why it does that, but... You can play around with it. I basically tell you everything you need to do. I do underscore CMM. Don't know what this stands for. I don't know what CMF is or what that stands for either. But I just do CMM because it worked for me. And so here we are. And then here's the laugh it up emote. Or yeah, it's an emote, right? I haven't played Fortnite in a while. I'm sorry. I just I just do Fortnite right now. Uh, so this works in viewport uh, shading which is blue, blue, view, viewport rendering, viewport, um, what is this, viewport material, preview, viewport preview, and then view, viewport, oh my god, solid. Uh, so yeah, here's the turn scan, it's doing the laugh it up emote. If you are doing it in viewport um, render, it is gonna do a little bit of lagging as you, as you might see. A little slow, right? Do viewport solid, and there you go. The viewport solid, it does it. Um, okay, viewport solid, it does it like the actual animation uh, speed. If you want to have this in, like maybe if you, maybe if you want to do like a little small animation. Um, then you could use this or if you just want or if you just bad at posing and then you want to make it not stiff then you could go here frame by frame to whatever frame you like to show off that this character is doing the laugh it up it's good enough for me so then we're going to go in here and we're going to click on this oh my God. click on render image this is what the render image should look like. Have fun with it. I tried not to make this as long as it may be. Um, but yeah, that's how you add animations into Blender or Fortnite animations. I'll be making some more tutorials if you guys like this one. Go ahead and leave it a like. And then go ahead and drop a comment. Join my Discord. I'll be helping people. My Discord is actually pretty cool. 
if you guys want to come by and check it out. You don't have to stay for long if you don't want to, but it is pretty cool. And if you don't come, then you're kind of missing out. So that's that on that. You can win money for posting art. I'm going to just say that. That might motivate you to join, but I mean, you can win a lot of money in my Discord. Um, that's about it. Again, my name is Honey. Feel free to subscribe as well.